Hello, this is Jeremy and welcome to another episode of CVTV. Today I'm going to cover the setup, installation, and basic operation of the highly anticipated flow pump from Reef Octopus. The Octopulse is a brand new DC wave pump from Reef Octopus engineered to fulfill the flow needs of even the most demanding hobbyists. This fully controllable wave pump produces a broad flow water movement that will encourage coral growth and a healthy system. With its 360 degree magnet mount, the Octopulse can easily get flow precisely where you need it. The rear of the Octopulse has a convex rounded shape which fits neatly into the concave mounting magnet allowing the pump to assemble gyrate in any direction. The Octopulse multifunction controller allows you to create pulsing or surging effects with four preset pulsing patterns, as well as a 15 or 60 minute feed mode. These come in handy when you are feeding the tank or conducting regular maintenance such as a water change. For all those that desire more controllability, the Octopulse can link up to most third party controllers by using its available 0 to 10 volt port. So let's get ready for Octopulse 101, assembly, installation, and operation. Before we get started, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include Octopulse pump, power adapter, controller with mountable cradle, waterproof magnet mount base, cable management accessories, instruction manual. Assembly and installation of the pump is fairly straightforward. Once we have selected the optimal spot that is not too close to the water surface and not directed towards a substrate where it can create a sandstorm, it's time to install the pump. First ensure the glass thickness is no more than 5 8 for the Pulse 4 and half inch max for the Pulse 2. Then we must clean the selected area to remove any film from the surface. This can be easily accomplished with a simple razor. Install the mount in your desired location within the aquarium. These magnets are very strong, so please be careful not to pinch your fingers or have the magnet slip out of your hands as it may damage the glass or acrylic. The exterior magnet mount can be submerged underwater, so it is safe to be inside your tank and in your overflows. Once the base is secured, we may install the pump head to the base by simply placing the head next to the base. The magnetism will pull the pump head into place. Now you can rotate the pump's output to your desired flow direction. Once the pump has been installed, it is time to mount the controller cradle. Choose a location that is away from heat, excessive humidity, and never mount the controller over open water. Please be sure that the cables reach the pump and the connection cables have proper drip loops to prevent any components from getting wet. If the distance is an issue, extension cables are available for purchase. Connect the octopulse to the controller and then connect the power supply to the controller. Finally, make sure no livestock is near the pump, connect the pump to the power outlet and run it for the first time. The controller's faceplate has a few buttons and lights, but once you learn what they mean, it is actually very intuitive and simple to use. You will notice the controller's power button. This serves as a way to turn the pumps on and off without having to disconnect the power plug. The power button also serves as a way to disengage the pause feed mode. At the top of the control pad is where the switch mode button that cycles between our four available flow modes. Constant flow, which creates a steady flow of water. Stream flow, creates a quick preset pulse. Tide flow, creates a long pulse. And random flow, which will randomly select between all available modes. A color LED next to the mode will indicate what mode the pump is running in. The pause feed mode is the left button on the same control pad. Next to this button you will see two LED lights signaling the pause interval. To engage, just press the pause button once and the controller will pause the pump for 15 minutes. Press the pause button once more and the controller will switch to a longer 16 minute pause. To cancel or disengage either of the pause feed modes, just press the power button once. 
the pump will return to its normal operation at its previously set speed. The plus and minus buttons control the max speed setting of the pump. Right next to the buttons, you will see a set of eight LED lights and speeds. As you press the plus or minus buttons, the flow of the pump will increase or diminish accordingly. One LED runs the pump at its lowest speed, and eight means the pump is running at its maximum flow. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Octopulse Full Pump, including detailed specs, beautiful high-quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.